All right, thanks for stopping by. So I am standing in Amanda's garage near Phoenix, Arizona. I drove in from Flagstaff because Hofsco has sent an e-bike for me to review. And I wanted to touch on the packaging first before we get into it. This box is not as large as I thought it would be. Well, it looks like they went all out on the cushioning and the packaging. That's always good to see. I don't think they'll have many returns due to shipping damage. This thing is really packed. There's folding pedals. There's the charger. Yeah, they use really good materials. There's the kickstand. Really good foam materials in this. I like to see this. So I was just reading through the manual. This bike has a 450 pound payload, not the 330 pound max of most bikes. All right, we're slowly taking it apart, getting it out of the box. Here's the front wheel. It's got nice protectors on each side. I always like to see that. The seat, I don't know. I'll probably replace that. You know, I have my favorite seat, so I'll probably end up putting it on. This one looks a little narrow for me, but I have a very cushiony seat on the old bike. I'll probably swap it over. We're making some headway here. But I just wanted to show you the good packaging. All right, collapsible handlebars, just like the old bike. Except this latch seems a little more substantial. It really locks in when you click it. So far, so good. Oh, it's got locking grips on it. Have you ever had a bike where the hand grips would spin around in your hand? Well, this won't do that. You just lock them down with those little Allen screws there. Big wide display on it. I can't wait to see how colorful it is. So I finally got it out of the box. I've got a lot of tinkering to do. I've got to get this uh, assembled. And let me show you how it folds here. There's the latch folds right in the middle so I can fold it up put it in the back of the van that's important it's a must-have for me and look they have ran the cabling through the frame I've never seen that on an e-bike before look how it goes down through this porthole here and all the cables are tucked away inside of the frame instead of being zip tied around to the bottom of the frame this is looking good. It folds up nice and thin. You can see the cabling come through here. It's got enough slack on it. I did have to put the handlebars in the low position before I folded it though. So this is the tail light on it. It's mounted on the seat. I'm going to reposition that because I've got a cargo rack that would block this. So I'll end up repositioning it like the old bike here where the tail light is right on the rear of the rack. I'll do the same thing on the new bike. I've got the front wheel put on. That was so easy. It's got a quick release latch on it. Simplest wheel install I've ever done. And in these two boxes is the fenders and the cargo rack. All right, let's get on the road back to Flagstaff. Okay, we're back at camp and I've got the bike fully assembled. Now, right now, the fenders and the rack are not standard, they are optional, but they sent those to me also so I could have a full package deal to show you. And they have a how to assemble video on their YouTube. What a good looking bike. Look how beefy this thing is. Look at this, this is like four by four inches thick through here. The battery's in here. Look how beefy. I love this thing. I, I was not expecting much for some reason because it's a step-through model, but I really love the step-through design. I've already replaced the seat. I did not like the seat that come on it. And I can go ahead and tell you, that is actually the only thing I do not like about this bike. Everything else, 
I absolutely love it. I decided to position that tail light here on the back because you know it was mounted right here and if I had cargo here on the rack it would block the light but I mean I'll only use it at night and I'm not gonna ride at night much anyway so I've currently got the battery charging it was down one bar on the indicator so I'm thinking that means 80 percent so it is charging the red light means charging when it's finished it'll be green see what we're doing right now 173 watts check this out that saves a lot of space when you fold it up and put it in the trunk that's it so you don't have to take the battery out to charge it you can just plug it in but there's the key this battery pops out it's an enormous battery it is 720 watt hour and it's Samsung sells best on the market I love the black rims the spokes are a little thicker than my old bike I noticed that so that's always a good thing quick release front wheel here hydraulic brakes I didn't even know that was a thing they're so smooth throttles on the left hand side which is weird at first but once you get used to it it's no big deal Shimano shifter And it is accurate as all get out. I love the grips that they don't spin around in your hand. They're locked down. It's got a pseudo motor on it, 750 watts. And I think it's a thousand watts peak. This is a torque beast. It'll pull the front wheel off the ground. This Hopsco bike is actually a little lighter weight than my old bike. It's 66 pounds, the other was 70. I know this one looks like it would weigh more. It just looks muscular, I guess. But I, I'm a really becoming a fan of the step-through model. I just didn't think a step-through bike would be so torquey and powerful and zippy. <laughs> this thing, when you hit the throttle, it's uh, very powerful. And I love the torque sensor on the motor. The harder you pedal, it can sense that and it gives you more boost. But if you just want to creep along, it can tell that too and it doesn't just give you too much throttle. So this is really high-tech stuff. It does come at a price though. You'll notice this bike is a bit more expensive than bikes that do not have the torque sensor. And that's where the money comes in. It's in the technology. Okay, we're fully charged. I know the screen looks like it's flashing. It's not. It's the frame rate that I'm videoing with. And you can pop the battery out to charge it. I just thought since it's a nice day, it's not raining, we just charge it outside. But you just take your key, put your key here, left is unlocked, and watch this. The battery pops out, and it is a massive battery. And it's got a fluorescent, L I mean, LED light on the bottom. So if you had an emergency, you could pop the battery out and turn the LED light on. It flashes. There's a button here on the end you push. There's a light on. There's step three. 
and there's emergency flash then you just turn it back off right where my thumb is show you this side of the battery and if you take the battery out and take it inside to charge it just open this little port here and that's where it plugs in it's a five millimeter round make sure you close that when you put it back on the bike it closes good it's a good rubber seal let's put it back in the bike put it in at an angle like that and then let it drop in and then turn your key remove the key that is it and um, it is settled I love the step through design it makes it so much more stable because the heaviness is down lower than at a bike that carries the battery this way it is a totally different ride experience and with the torque sensor on the motor it's it's like a different animal so much more enjoyable all right enough of this let's go ride so i'm going to set it on power assist one for now it goes all the way up to five that is so powerful take it down on one and i'm going to set my shifter on gear number two this is such a better experience. Now you can turn the bike off and just pedal it like a regular old fashioned bike because the sprockets are sized perfectly where it's easy just to pedal like a regular bike even though this bike is 66 pounds. They nailed it on the sprocket size. It's absolutely perfect. So this is your throttle over here. I'm gonna hit it and I'm gonna hold on whoa see it pulls the front wheel off the ground it's that powerful so if you hit the booster you better be holding on okay i'm gonna put it on number one. Oh my gosh it's so smooth so powerful let's go down to the bottom of the hill and do a hill climb i'm not even in the lowest gear i'm in pedal assist one and it is pulling up this hill effortlessly. Front forks feel really good. All right, I'm going to pedal a little harder. Oh, yeah, you can feel the sensor kick in where it gives you a boost. It could tell I was in a little trouble, and it gave me the boost exactly when I needed it. Oh, my gosh. That was nothing. It was so simple and easy. Here's another hill. And remember, I'm not in the lowest gear. It would be even more simple if I geared down. Brakes feel great. I didn't know brakes could be so good on a bike. Hydraulic brakes. I wish this wouldn't flash on my frame rate. So I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to strap the camera to my chest. Let's do it GoPro style. Okay, let's hit the power boost. Oh my gosh, that is so much torque. 
This is a beast. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. Holy cow, I cannot believe the power in this little bike. This is insane. So I think I have proven my point. What a difference between this bike and my old e-bike. Hobsco brand. I love this step through folding e-bike. I'm going to have so much fun on this. I'm going to show all the ATV riders that you do not need a loud, obnoxious, gas burning, dust cloud forming machine to get out in the woods and have a blast on. I haven't even downloaded the app yet. If you do that, you can unlock even more power and increase your speed even more. So make sure you check out the link in the description. I'm gonna to try to get them to send me some product discount codes, <laughs> but it just doesn't get any better than this. Take care, be well, and smash the bell.